watch this with you uh, as a commentary just to explain some of the hidden gems uh, we recently put out this vikio this film and music video uh, for our new mele eo uh, big mahalos to jeremy kalima of prime footage the executive director uh, i'm a co-director and co-producer with kavika aspili uh, there's a lot of hidden gems hidden manao that went into making this video uh, what it was, and if you didn't catch it all, I wanted to watch it and kind of explain some of it with you. So, nani mai. Hey, kali kau maka pere ni, ya kau. Ah, oye mano, e hana no vai ka ahameli ke ipo. Ah, e la vai rano paha oi ke kole mako no. Ah, so the scene starts with uh, the student Kale Komaka and the Kumu Lito Archangel, who are both actual student and Kumu, respectively, here at Kahakaula Oke Eli Kolani, here at Hale Olelo. And uh, I really mahalo this manao for the sweet eyed Kole, Kole Mako Onaona. Yeah, instead of uh, referring to women as chicks or even just saying women, yeah. Mika'i, uh, yeah, this Kole, this sweet eyed Kole. Uh, so get out there, use the Hu Olelo. Kole maka o nauna. Mau popo no ya oi. Hu kale ale a. Ke maka ala i ke hoa. Ke maka ala na na wahine u i loa. Ke mo o no paha la ko. So here we have our first uh, recollection of this thing called a mo'o. And I have in parentheses water, spirit lizard. Uh, there are other terms but this uh, specific mo that we're gonna uh, watch see and see the, in this music video is kalani mainu'u kalani mainu'u uh, if you are a graduate of the punana leo you might recognize this uh, it's an old video from the 90s i think uh, and she's referred to as a vahine aiva iva so aiva iva is actually a super nani manao uh, inexplicable, mysterious, marvelous, strange, amazing, fantastic, fathomless. Yeah, so uh, not only is she a mo'o, but she is a vahine, a iva iva. So in the Mo'olelo, this uh, Mo'o Klani Mainu'u, uh, this Ali'i Puna Aikoa'e, he uh, is convinced to go and love her in her cave. And she convinces him to stay in his cave, stay in her cave and live there. She will provide all the food. He wouldn't need anything. One day he, he realizes like, oh, I kind of want to go surf. <laughs> and she reluctantly says, okay, but she says that you're not to speak to any uh, anyone. So he goes down to surf, and uh, his friends are calling, and, and two people recognize him, and they're like, "Hey, uh, hey, puna uh, hey, I heard you've been missing." And one of them's like, "Oh yeah, I think my sister has you, and she's a mo'o. In fact, you have a mo'o, what you have a mo'o tongue, which is your surfboard." And he's like, he like ignores them at first, and then he's like, "Wait, okay." Okay, what's actually going on? And they're like, yep, she's a mo'o, bro. Watch out. Um, sneak up on her and, like, check out what she's doing. So he sneaks up on her. He sees her true form, which is a mo'o. And uh, she finds him. She finds out that he knows she's a mo'o. But she actually... Uh, or, so he accepts. He's like, okay, well, I don't care that you're a mo'o. I still love you. And so she's all stoked. And then she's like, wait, how'd you know I was a mo'o? And so she goes after these two guys. Um, they jump into the sea, they become ia, she makes a hinai, and they go into the hinai to, to get captured, and, uh, she shreds them into pieces, and that's how they become the millions of fish in the sea. Um, those two specific ia, I don't recall right now, but yeah, it's a, uh, it's a ancient mo'olelo, uh, for this mo'o, this vahine ai vaiva o kleni mainu'u. So... That's kind of the plot of this story for this music video. And, you know, it doesn't follow it exactly, but just the concept that there's a small o and she convinces you to live in her cave. Ho'o mo'o. Mo'o? Sha. Mai ka waka hiku kenna. Mana mo'o lelo vale mo. Ho'o i de wai. O hi ni ko uhoa. Ni ka i mo'o. O hele aku la. A laua ma kona hanga, a wana wai, a hiki kei a laua. Ho 
ʻoia i ʻo ka moʻa e noho mau nei nei. Ka ʻai aku te kāne, ʻaʻole hoʻi ho mai, e nei ka ʻe e ʻo. So there's also the perspective of the kanaka, yeah, seeing their hoa being taken by a moʻo because they don't want their hoa to be, go missing, even though the hoa might consentingly go, yeah, and they might have a good love and aloha forever. Uh, that's not how the hoa thinks. So this is kind of in the perspective of the other side. It's not of the actual lover and the love between the mo'o and the kane, but more of the community's point of view of when these kane go missing by this mo'o, what, ha- what happens and what does it look like? Ai, ai, hihi no kumu, hihi no. Utter disbelief. So in the story, Kavika and I, we play at Ola Hilo, and uh, after that we're taken, uh, enraptured maybe, by this mo'o. We go consentingly. Uh, she didn't steal us. Yeah, it's a true love. So if you don't know, this is the Utu Bang Bang News Network. Uh, we have a few videos that came out. I don't know if you've seen it. What is it like to, to be uh, aspiring to look kind of similar to what I got with my beard? Well, my whole life I've aspired to look like you. <laughs> we featured people like Jason Momoa. And then we had this joke. That's why he says, I'm Ka'ikena Sakla- Scanlon. Because... Why were you excited to see Ellie Mack. Ellie Mack and Ka'ikena Sakla- Yeah, yeah Sakla- 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 uh, so uh, it was it was a joke. If if you didn't get the reference, you gotta go on our YouTube and you gotta watch these two videos for the previous episodes of the Utu Bang Bang News Network. So this is a continuation again at Kaipalawa, uh, Kaikana, with the news news team is looking for his friends. <laughs> Uh, before it moves on, I wanted to give a mahalo to Aaron Kai. Uh, this is his mural that was uh, painted pre- uh, right before Ola Hilo happened. Uh, and mahalo to Ola Hilo for dealing with our videos. We we're kind of doing some shots that night to get that scene um, of the buildup of us getting taken. So aloha nui to Sig Zane, aloha nui to Ola Hilo. <laughs> uh, here's where we introduce uh, Kaula, aka at Kaule, and the Vahine Aiva Iva. So, uh, this conversation that was happening in this scene is actually from Kaleo Hawaii. And if you don't know Kaleo Hawaii, it's the old Hawaiian language tapes uh, that was broadcasted live and uh callers were able to call in and say what's up and so this kupuna lina machado called in and um she you know it was a it was a greetings and aloha and it was between her and larry kimura and it was just over the phone but uh it was thought that this scene would be would kind of paint the picture of like a flirting type um hey what's up uh Right here, we'll play it for you. Hey. 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 Hey.
Kalani Mainu in the scene, she says, Henani maki no koumau hana. Yeah, Henani maoli no kaumau hana. Meaning, uh, everything you're doing is super beautiful, super nice. Um, and just showing her admiration for Larry's work. Yeah. I mahalo ya oi. Hano hano. Yeah. So proud. So happy. Yeah. Um, so, the, yeah, this is meant to be like a flirtatious scene and using this Leo Hawaii, kind of bringing it back to the Kupuna perspective and uh, embedding it both in the song and in the music video. <laughs> So um, all of these scenes, you know, you can think of it as you wish. Um, a thought that could be thought of is the Mo'o is kind of not poisoning him, but, you know, giving giving him the elixir so that she'll fall in love with him. And uh, all of those mana will come in, uh, whether it's in the sushi, whether it's in the miso soup, whether it's in the oyster shooters. Uh, by the way, big shout out to moms. Uh, this scene is in the... Back room at Mom's, Mom's Hilo, uh, Mahalo Ya Yuta, uh, and for all the workers that were working that night dealing with our shoots. Um, yeah, again, uh, just the Japanese food. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I really like this whole olelo, so I'm going to share it with you. It is mayele. Say it with me. Mayele. Mayele. To have eloquence, skills in speaking, eloquent, skilled in asking questions, to puzzle or confuse. Uh, yeah, so mayele valeno kahua. Yeah, straight eloquence in all the words that you say. Aloha nui to Tani Photo, Jalen Balunto, Paul Batad behind him, and Makana Rosetti, um, extras. So here we are. We have these missing posters, yeah? Uh, again, stressing the Olelo Hawaii, but also having the English. Um, again, to the story, yeah? Sig Zane's Ola Hilo event, that's when we where Ika Akamai and Kavika Aspili were last seen. Um, I don't know if you've seen, but we ended up posting this on IG. And a lot of people thought it was real. Yeah. A lot of people thought it was real. Um, so if we read it, yeah, if we, if we like look into what this says, missing. Ika Akamai Kavika Aspili. Do you believe it yet? Okay, well, we'll look at the details. Couple very good looking bradas. Very low la. It doesn't say anything. Uh, very broad and general. It doesn't really say anything about our actual features. Um, anyone could be very good looking. I happen to be one of them. Maybe not. Representing Hawaii is super hard. Is this real? I don't think so. Last scene was one mo'o looking wahine. I guess you can think it's serious, but still, I don't see it. Call the number here, and uh, you might get a reward. I don't know. This really doesn't look real to me. A lot of people did think it was real. A lot of people did think it was serious. But at the same time, some people knew that it wasn't real, yeah? Um, so if we look at the comment section, yeah, I gotta spread the word. Last scene, I'm cruising at the concert with that chick. Hope this helps. Yeah, Alrighty. Just by the comments, it's like, oh, uh, you know. Lahu, you gotta critically analyze the news that we see, yeah? Um, especially, like, if the 
flyer itself doesn't really look real if all of these comments don't really look real hate to tell you if the mo'o if the mo'o is who i think it is just call it yeah um nah let him go okay thanks sid can't wait i see my mo'o looking like he ain't wearing those glasses in town today Ay. um we got some sad emojis some mo'o emojis mo'o looking like he ain't bro all we can do is wait till we pull polo lay that's probably the best answer um going down going down uh yes we have a disclaimer uh really we're just hyping this up yeah we really wanted to get get the attention and we wanted to bring it in yeah um bringing the people to kind of see what's happening and see what's going on so we can um blow up the song so there was some people that called the number um actually there's about 20 people who called the number uh and if so if you did call the number or if you did text the number uh, you were given a sneak preview of the song, you are given the album art, and you are given all the lyrics, and if you gave a good answer, you are given a few laughing emojis. I did see some of the, the texts, and this is what I think, um, this is what someone said, Hui, I think Ikak and Kavika might be at the cave at Wailuku River, they're good friends of that girl Hina, it's not good, better find them. Um, so obviously this person knows the mo'olelo of Hina and Maui and of Wailuku. So, you know, she's just throwing it out there. It's, it was kind of like to see the literacy of our Lahui, to see that. And when I say literacy, I mean like the people knowing the mo'olelos of mo'o. And some people said, oh, um, oh, are they at uh, Honolii under the bridge or something? You know, like people were giving answers. And so I, uh, they were they were responded with this yeah aloha nui very close on the location thank you for caring about your community bottom line it was also a joke but um as a token of your vil vigilance here's the song so it was kind of fun to you know go through this um not everyone was super happy uh with this fake missing or whatever but it is what it is and here we are uh we didn't go missing kind of looks fake to me though so lahui critically analyze what you're seeing in the media <laughs> Again, the scene of her ripping the two posters down, yeah, showing that, you know, she doesn't want anyone to know where the brothers went. Just adds to the scariness. <laughs> Mahalo to Big Island Grown. Mahalo to Drew Daniels. Uh, they allowed us to come to their concert and do some video shots here. Here we got the um, relationship building scene where uh, Kalani Mainu'u and Kaula is kind of dancing and kind of falling in some sort of aloha while watching the concert. Uh, I think it was Mike Love that night and Josh Heinrichs. And so yeah, that's what this scene is about. <laughs> Mo'o eyes. Oh, this is something I like to do on this part. Just randomly pause it and see where the time lapse takes you. <laughs> so we're just doing random things. 
And one of them was Vix helps me up and I tried to get out the hole. Uh, ah, shucks. And then I try to help out Vix. <laughs> uh, so yeah, that scene was showing that, you know, we're there waiting for a long time. Um, this time lapse shows that it was nighttime that night and now it's on to the next day. Cue our last location, Kaumana Caves. Yeah, these scenes of looking up through this uh, puka, it, it was really hard on our necks because we were doing that for at least, you know, five song lengths of takes. It's pretty hard and it was kind of hard to see. It was really bright. Um, so we don't look super nice in these shots. So if you don't know by now, konu means thrilling and passionate lovemaking. But it also can be just to love. Yeah, so love me. Hinoi ha ha yeah, this is a humble request of you to love me. It's probably the uh, rated G version of that. So anyone know what happens if you don't want to live with the mo'o in the cave? What does Kalani Mainu'u do? She eats you. Yeah, so, you know, maybe the ending is everyone gets eaten. Maybe not. Stay tuned for the next video. Directed by The Wizard and Ika Akamai. Here's where Kalei Kaumaka realizes that his kumu is actually not pupule, but has actual mana'o. And yeah, he's going out, he's going out of this and he knows a lot more about life. Or about the actual mall. Uh, the scene showing that Kaule, yeah, Kaula actually goes missing. Last scene at the um, concert by Mike Love. Aloha, no, he's in the cave. With the boys. We have our credits. A big mahalo to all of these places, yeah. Hale ole lo lumi hui haumana, sig zain ole hilo, kala hui pua'a in kohala hema, big island grown, hilo town market, ka'umana caves. 
Mahalo to Lionel Richie, Utah, Drew Daniels, um, Kuhao, Aaron Kai, Kaikana Saklan, Kyle Douglas, Easton Tanimoto, and Dane Miose. Mahalo new to Jeremy Kalima for uh, prioritizing Olelo Hawaii. Jeremy Kalima is an awesome filmmaker, one of my mentors in all of this um, filmmaking that I've been trying to do this past year. And I really mahalo all of his uh, insight and his counseling uh, to make this content better. And he really, you know, fronted this whole video and he, he did this out of the local Maika'i of his na'o. So mahalo to Jeremy for prioritizing the Hawaii. He definitely stressed Olelo Hawaii in all of this. Told me do all the credits in Olelo Hawaii. He said do the whole thing in Olelo Hawaii. We'll have the subtitles. Trying to put Olelo Hawaii on the map. Um, he heard the song the first time and he's like i'm doing the video so huge huge mahalo to jeremy kalima of prime footage uh for working with me being patient with me and uh teaching me Uh, you can assume what you want, but Kalani Mainu'u goes on and she leaves the cave without anybody. Did she just eat? We don't know. Stay tuned for the next show. Mahalo for accompanying me on this Makahi Omele. If you have any more questions, mana'o, um, hate comments even, leave it in the comment section. Um, I'd be sure to address it. And yeah, mahalo for watching, mahalo for cruising. Aloha nui. <laughs>